When you first open Recipe Gallery, the main screen shows a gallery of all your recipes. Tapping on a recipe displays the details for that recipe. The top third of the screen shows the still life image of the recipe along with the recipe title and the assigned rating. The bottom two thirds holds the recipe cards for the recipe. A recipe can have as many cards as you'd like. These cards come from the camera, a website, or can be typed as text. You can mix the types of cards on a recipe. You can also add, delete, or rearrange these cards at any time. Tapping a recipe card opens at full screen. You can pinch and zoom to make the recipe larger or smaller as needed. If a recipe has multiple cards, you can scroll from card to card by swiping right or left. The toolbar for the recipe screen is hidden after 5 seconds. This lets the recipe fill the screen. Tapping the screen will bring the toolbar back. Let's go back to the main screen to look at a few of the features that help you manage your recipes. The plus button is used to start a new recipe. The bookmark menu holds bookmarks you have added using the Recipe Gallery Safari extension. There is a help video dedicated to using this extension. The Recipe Gallery menu contains settings, links to email support, and a lot of other helpful information. On the iPad, the layout button switches between the large and small gallery views. The right three controls deal with the search and display of recipes. The category menu is at the top of the screen on the iPad and the bottom of the screen on the iPhone. It lets you display a selected set of categories. The search box is where you enter text to search for recipes. The sorting menu controls the orders that the recipes are displayed in. Now that we've seen the basics of the recipe gallery interface, let's look at adding a recipe. To add a new recipe, we start by tapping the plus button. This will open a new, blank recipe. Although you can add the parts of a recipe in any order, we will start at the top in this example. To add the still life image, we tap the placeholder image. There are four sources available for this image. Let's look at each of them. The camera option will open a camera window. You frame the camera as needed and tap the shutter button. The image is taken and you are presented with a chance to crop and rotate the image. Drag any of the blue crop dots to change the crop size. Drag from the middle of the crop rectangle to position the crop rectangle overall. If needed, you can also rotate the complete image using the rotation controls at the bottom. When the image is cropped to your liking, tap the Done button. You can use the Photo Library option to use an image that exists in your photo app. This will open a view of all of the photos on your device. When you find the image that you wish to use, tapping on it will select it and open the image in the crop window. If you would like to use an image from the web, select the website option. You can navigate to the web page you wish to use. When the image you want to use is on screen, tap the capture button. You can then crop the images like you would in the other options. If you do not have any images to use for the still life, but would still like to have some image, select the stock images option. This opens a small gallery of images. Tapping one selects it and uses it as the still life image. By tapping in the title area, you can enter a title for your recipe. Tapping the category area brings up the category lists. You tap the category you wish to have the recipe in. Note that recipes can be in multiple categories. A check mark shows the categories that are selected. Tapping a selected category unselects it. You rate a recipe by tapping the icon representing the rating you desire. Note that to give a zero or no rating, you can tap any rating, then slide your finger to the left off the ratings completely. When you lift your finger, the recipe will have no rating. To add a recipe card to the recipe, tap the plus recipe card at the bottom of the screen. There are also four options for recipe cards. The camera option works much like it did for the still life image, but it adds an optional grid overlay. The grid can be used to help keep the recipe image straight and square. After you take the picture, you will be able to crop and rotate the image as needed. 
When you finish cropping the image, you are taken to a window where you can adjust the brightness, contrast, and color of the image. The left slide makes the image brighter or darker. The right slide adjusts the contrast. The three options at the bottom control whether the image is seen in color, grays only, or black and white only. Once you have added one recipe card, the plus recipe card is no longer there. To add additional recipe cards, you now use the Add button located in the center of the screen. This button has the same options as the plus recipe card. The photo library option for the recipe card works the same way it did for the still life image. The website option opens a full web browser and lets you search or browse for recipes. You can enter a website address in the address bar or text to do a Google search for recipes. Once you have a recipe page you wish to save, tap the capture button. If the recipe starts lower on the page, scroll to the start of the recipe before you tap the capture button. Recipe Gallery will then give you an option to start the capture at your current place on the page. Once the page is captured, you can crop the page. If the web page was longer than would fit on a single page, you will get an option to continue by capturing the next section of the website. You can continue to capture sections until you reach the bottom of the page or you tap No. The last type of recipe card you can add is a text note. This option will open a free form text window that you can use in many ways. You can type notes about a recipe or enter a full recipe text. On newer devices, you can tap the microphone key and dictate a recipe or notes. You can even copy text from other apps and paste them into the text note. When you are finished with the note, tap the Done button. Text notes can always be edited later. When the recipe is complete, tap the Back Recipes button in the upper left of the toolbar. Note there is no Save button. Your recipe is automatically saved as you go. We hope this overview gets you quickly adding recipes and cooking with Recipe Gallery. Check out the other videos for more details on specific subjects. If you have any questions about Recipe Gallery, please contact us at support at recipe-gallery.com. Happy cooking!